Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we're going to be doing my August 2023 Okay, so like I said, today we're going to be doing my August 2023 reads, okay? Um, let's see, I read... 15 books in August, 15 books in August. So that's, that's pretty good. You know, like normally it's like four books, you know, if you guys have been in my past videos or if you've been here for a while, it'd be like six books, like, you know, and here we go. We're getting better. I also have a lot more time on my hands, so I have the ability to read books now versus before I was juggling work, school, small business, reading, all of those at a full-time level. So yeah, reading happened sporadically to ease my nerves. So anyway, <sighs> let's get to it. Um, so like I was saying, we're gonna do the August 2023 reads um, for this year. For this year a little wrap up just like last month's um a little short short synopsis some trigger warnings um my star ratings and my seat fans um so number one her soul to take souls trilogy number one harley larue you know i loved losers this one me three stars four steam fans okay this one has to deal with a whole bunch of demons witchcraft cults sacrifices um this was, I feel like it was supposed to be like, I'm not like other girls type trope. It was a failure. She is like other girls. She is like all of us, okay? She's supposed to pretend. She's supposed to always be like, I'm not afraid of the dark and of scary things and of all this kind of stuff. But as soon as something scary happens, but she's crying. She's running. She's doing all these things. It's not until something like, like wild and crazy happens that she's finally like, you know what? I am strong. I've got a knife. And like another time she's got this whole knife and she's like, I'm just gonna sit here and die. Sit here and die. I'm like, why did we just go through all of that to get this magical knife? And now you act like you ain't gonna use it. You just gonna die. You just gonna die. Anyway, so she just she just pissed me off. She just pissed me off. And I feel like three st three stars is being generous. Mainly because I just liked I liked the cult aspect. And I liked our main demon. I liked him. I liked him a lot. Anyway, number two, start a war. St. View Psychos, number one. I gave it three and a half stars. I think I rounded up on Goodreads to four. But three and a half stars, three Steam fans by L. Thorpe. It's a reverse harem ish. Um, ish. We really only like like do the nasty with one guy in this book. Um, but there are definitely three love interests for the female main character. Um, there are trigger warnings for abuse and sexual assault. Um, there is an age gap in this book. The audio is really good. Um, so I would definitely do it on audio. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I probably won't finish the second book because I had high hopes for it and it's really not giving what I need it to give at all. It does get a little bit more harem-y in the second book. You know, we get some MM and some MFM in the second book. Um, but it just wasn't giving what I needed it to give. So I'm probably not going to finish it. Um, Number three, Fierce King, LA Ruthless number one by Sadie Kincaid. I gave this three stars, three Steam fans. Um, this series you would probably want to read before the Ryan Rules series of the New York Ruthless because these characters get mentioned in in the New York one. Um, it's, it's not definitely not mandatory. I didn't feel like I was missing anything, but you know, then I was like, okay, well, can I read about these characters? And then I could, so, um, so you're not missing anything, but you can read this before, um, Ryan Rules. Anyway, it's a mafia romance. It's a dark romance, um, forced marriage. Um, once again, this is a main female lead who is not as strong as she thinks she is at all. Oh, um, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm gonna save this comment for after I talk about the second one. Not as strong as she thinks she is. Um, definitely a forced marriage. Um, she thinks she's doing it to protect her 
family to like the Mon to Montoya's, right? The Montoya's, um, as the boss, and then she finds out some secrets, and yeah, it's just. Eh. It was good though. It was good. Um, it was a forced marriage, but there was no forced sexual relations. No forced sexual relations with that. So that was good. Uh, but she's not as strong as she thinks she is. So, and then Fierce Queen, number four, is Fierce Queen. LA Ruthless, number two. I gave this one four stars for Steam fans because it gets a little bit steamier in the second book. Also by Sadie Kincaid. It's a continuation of the book one. It's still not that strong. Um, she needs a savior each time that she needs to be saved. And she keeps trying to say that she's the strong, independent woman, but she's not. Um, I will say there are trigger warnings for conversations about um, infertility and fertility issues so just it's not that it's not that big it's but if you're going through something it might it might trigger you number five church oh my god oh my god i don't even know how i got this book i genuinely don't know but the boys of chapel crest number one by kg bruce Gave this book four stars and four steam fans this book is dark it is a mind it is dark and it is a mind okay there is so much mental health rep problems all these things because basically also saying this book also takes place in a high school but this high school is basically a front for an insane asylum for these children okay all these kids have some sort of they've all been institutionalized due to some sort of mental health problem okay they're all they're all mad here the truly okay so there's so many triggers in this book like oh bullying assault a lot of childhood trauma including um attempted murder um um and just some probably some dubious non-consent um the main female character doesn't talk she doesn't communicate um so that's interesting um as far as other things go um this oh my god this book i was literally reading at it i was literally reading and i was like what am I doing to myself? And I was like, I finished the first one. I was so ready for the second one. So I started reading the second one and I realized, just so you know, the second one is not a continuation of the first one. During the first book, you keep hearing about this girl who really effed them up even more, effed our main boys up. Oh, it is reverse harem. It's a reverse harem, sorry. Um, who effed these boys up even more. Okay, how? Don't know, but, they, but she did. And it's like her story with one of the guys um, but so it goes back in time, but now, but through the first book, you learn so much about the relationship. You're like, I really didn't need a whole book about her. So I skipped it and went to the third book. Then the third book just started getting super dark, super duper dark. Haven't finished it. Started to go down some paths. I didn't need my mental mindscape to go down. Okay. I just, y'all know, it, it's crazy over there. It's crazy. It's wild. And these children are not protected in the least so yeah I go into that one with um with some warm fuzzy socks and maybe a palette cleanser book afterwards yeah okay so <laughs> number six ruthless creatures queens and monsters number one by JT Gessinger um, I have this four stars, three Steam fans. It is a mafia romance. It's a secret love. There's lots of secrets. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily call it dark. I would just call it a mafia romance. Um, they basically... Um, I wrote down first woman to take life into her own hands. <gasps> oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the main female character, her fiance disappears out of thin air on her wedding day or on the rehearsal dinner day. And so then she's just been living her life depressed in a bubble. Um, 
until this man suddenly shows up in her life. Um, honestly, though she's been through some depressing shit, um, I felt like she's the only one I've read so far who was like, you know what? This shit. I'm gonna go, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go find. <laughs> This is why I don't try and censor myself, bro. This is why, because I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it backwards, all types of wrong places. And she decides to take her life in her own hands. I mean, it took some pushing, some convincing, you know, a hit, but a hit on her life, but it's fine. It's fine, we got there and that's what matters. So yeah, <laughs> it was good though. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. I just didn't read the second book because the second book's gonna follow her best friend. Um, and I'm not sure I care. I feel like I should care, but I'm honestly not sure I do. So, um, number seven, Ryan Rain. This is the New York Ruthless number four. So I went back and I don't think I knew that there was a fourth book when I finished the third one. Four stars, five steam fans by Sadie Kincaid. Still the mafia romance, reverse harem. Still much like I said um, at the end of the third book. I just felt like we lost a lot of her strength and I didn't like that. I felt like she had a lot of strength um, leading in to this in the very beginning and it slowly just dwindled and we could have kept her a lot stronger than how we did. So mm, I don't know, but I enjoyed the smut. <laughs> That's what I was here for. That is always good. I wish I had done the audio sooner. I didn't do the audio I think until the fourth book. I had a long drive home and I didn't do the audio until the fourth book. Wish I'd done the audio sooner, guys. Irish accents. That's snuff. That's all you gotta know. Irish accents. So do the audio. Okay? And it's good. And you do get all four perspectives. Five perspectives. Four guys and hers. Her voice is a little annoying, but the guys, it's fine. Number eight, Sicko by Amo Jones. Um, three stars, 3.5 Steam fans. This one got hyped up a lot too in as in, in a Facebook group. Um, it is romance. It's definitely a dark romance. Most definitely a dark romance. Um, it does feature with inside of a motorcycle club. Um, we see them from their high school time. Oh, kind of from birth. From their birth and high school time they are a I'm gonna make sure I clarify this they are an adopted brother and sister they have no blood relation but they grew up as brother and sister um, is very 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 affluent brother and sisters um, adopted but he ends up in a motorcycle club. This um, could have been a reverse harem, but it's not. It could have been. It probably would have made it more better. Yeah, more better, I said that. Uh, but waste opportunity there. Um, lots of triggers, lots of triggers for this book. Um, trigger warnings for rape, sexual assault, human trafficking. I said incest, maybe, but not really in childhood, childhood abuse and trauma. Um, so definitely, definitely things to look out for, for that book. And you know, like the ending came together well. I enjoyed the ending, um, some like vindication there, but the book overall was just okay. And I've been at, I've been doing, like, I think I remember finishing the book and be like, what the fuck? Like, what's over? Um, but I've been doing this playlist, a Spotify playlist of all the books, um, of all the songs I either mentioned in books. And so then by doing that though, like I noticed how many songs were name dropped. I think that was the other thing were name dropped during this book. And like some of the songs that were name dropped made zero sense. And so like, even when I listened to them and I knew that they were from this book, I was like, bro, they ain't listening to this song. No, they are not. No, they are not. Like do better do better i like music way too much do better um anyway number nine obsession the mate games number one give it four stars three steam fans by kayla rain it's reverse harem kind of 
it's I think going to become it's going to get to reverse harem um, it is a fantasy romance it is college like they are all adults um, but they end up at this um, like magical boarding school um, think of like your high school mock you in games but it's like real life for them they're in this boarding school literally dorms and all and they go to classes but their goal is to learn about each one of their factions vampires werewolves witches the fae um a, a norse god um to learn about each of the factions to hopefully have better political relations as they become the next leaders they're all children of leaders um in their in their worlds um I listened to it on audio and I absolutely loved it on audio. Um, I did not do not do the print version at all, but I absolutely loved it on audio. They have a full cast for it and so it was really great. Um, I think I want to read number two. The ending makes me want to read number two because mm, there's definitely some age gap going on in there, like, but they're all very much adults very much adults um think like if you like priest by sierra simone there's some of that in there just sprinkling some, some of that in there um yeah think of a better version of team edward or team jacob like which team are we on mm, yeah better version uh, <laughs> Number 10, Glitch. Ooh, this was so good. Um, Glitch, next level number one. It gave this five stars and five Steam fans by Brianna Michaels. Um, this book was so good. It wasn't that long, I don't think. I don't know. Um, but both characters are gamers, online gamers. They meet in an online gaming world with friends. Um, and they has, and then something happens to the female, um, main character's computer it ends up broken due to an issue in her no longer relationship with a trigger warning x a red flagging x um so she needs her computer fixed and so the best friend of our main male character glitch he um recommends glitch because he owns a computer place she's an artist the computer place to get it fixed so because he glitch wasn't willing to like man up and um talk to her except for in the chat in chat but like not for real for real like he didn't even talk during the games because he is self-conscious about his voice he says his voice is super deep which as i read the book i was like you should get the audio but i have a problem getting an audio for books that are less than 300 pages um because i can blow through 300 pages way too quick for what the cost of an audiobook is um so but anyway <laughs> But I do kind of wish I had listened to the audio so I could hear that deep voice or whatever their interpretation of it was. But I also feel like at the same time, my version in my head is probably better than anything that could have happened. Anyway, um, there is a stalker in this book for the main female character. So just a heads up. That makes it a little interesting. Um... Okay, it's not really a stalker, that's not true. It's just her red flagging ex. That's not a, that's not a, um, a spoiler at all. It's just how it, how it comes together. And, yeah, other things. Anyway. Eleven. Nero. Alliance number one. Gave it three and a half stars, three Steam fans, by S.J. Tilly. Um, I don't really have much to say about this. It's a mafia romance. It's okay, um... It was okay. It wasn't anything just like super great. Um, he basically walks into this girl's apartment and then she is enamored with him ever since, even though she ran away from home at 17 due to an abusive home life and family. Ran away from seven and has been hiding ever since. And all of a sudden there's this man in her apartment because she left the balcony door open. And apparently she wasn't scared enough to run. So or do anything call cops anything so that's where it goes from there like i said it's just okay um 12 the x files ocean view number one um 
This is four stars, two steam fans. It's not that steamy, but it was really adorable. It was really cute. It was a good, sometimes you know you gotta throw in a palette cleanser when you've been reading a whole bunch of um, mafia and dark romance. Like I told Eric I needed to go to the gun range sooner rather than later. Um, by Morgan Elizabeth, but, <laughs> love how I get distracted. By Morgan Elizabeth, um, she is a matchmaker and basically her book is called The X-Files because with her matchmaking services, she goes on two dates with these guys who are looking for potential matches. So that way then she can snuff out their red flags, um, their red flags and then match them or not match them if their red flags are red flaggy. Or if they're just like, uh, you know, like it's not really a red flag, you're just, that's just who you are. Um, and that's why they're called the X-Files because technically everybody in her file is technically an X because she goes on two dates. Anyway, but she's supposed to set somebody up and then of course she falls in love. Even though she tries not to. And that was kind of annoying for some parts because it's just like, bitch, just get over it. Get over it. Enjoy the happiness. Do it. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. Okay. Um... Relentless Devil, Son of Valentino, Sons of Valentino number one. I gave it two stars, three steam fans by Kylie Kent. It is a mafia romance. It has a terrible wrap up, just an awful, it ended horribly, horribly. And it was like, I could totally get behind most of the story. I loved it. There was all these family ties and connections, all these twists and turns and deals that needed to be made and people in hiding and a younger sister who needs a kidney transplant and just all these things going on. And then they tried to wrap it up in this lumpy misshapen present with a bow on top. Nothing like there, like we just could have done so much more with this book and we didn't do it. We didn't do it. It let me down entirely i was disappointed bye bye pissed it really it just <laughs> i'm telling you i looked up like i was sitting on the couch i finished it i looked up and i said what the fuck was that <laughs> because it just ended it just ended it was like and they all lived happily ever after and it's like what what? No, we have lots more questions. We need lots more information. No one's living happily ever after. No one. <sighs> anyway. Then we moved on to number 14, Cognac Villain, the Pushkin Brapa number one. Four stars, four scene fans by Nicole Fox. It is a mafia. It is fake marriage. It is the Bratva. Um, Basically, she ends up at a party under a friend's name, her dress rips, and she ends up somewhere she shouldn't be, didn't even know whose house she was in. Turns out she was in the head of the Bratva's house and decided to, or future head of the Bratva's house, they had sex, didn't know that he was looking for a wife. Um, and then he was like, you know what? We're gonna start this off this fake marriage, okay? Um, because then it turns out someone was trying to kill her afterwards. Someone tried to kill her. So she needs protection. Protection, fake marriage, live in a mansion, live in your hobble and we're gonna die her. Whatever. Number 15, Cognac Vixen, which is the Pushkin Brat Bud book number two. Four stars, four steam fans by Nicole Fox. It's a continuation of book one. There's a lot of family drama in here. Um, there's some fake marriage and mafia. There is some trigger warnings for potential for sexual assault and potential for abuse. Um, a lot of a lot of sneaky situations um, in that one. But there was a lot of family drama and ins and outs that all kind of works together. There's some bitches we need to kill and that's fine, we'll kill them. Um, but, so it was okay, it was good. It wrapped up well, I liked this wrap up more than I liked the other ones, so that was good. Anyway, guys, that's my August wrap up, I did it on time. Yeah, I'm proud of me too. I did it on time. Um, <laughs> Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell notification and hit that like button. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know um, how you thought about some of these books. Did you like them? That I hated them? Did you hate some of the ones that I like? That happens. It's okay. Um, <laughs> but 
that's what I got for you guys today. So don't forget to follow me on all the social media. And until next time, keep turning the pages.